Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the next Next.js. Today we are going to learn about the how to build a CRUD REST API with Next.js MongoDB. So today we are going to learn about the MongoDB CRUD REST API, full-fledged, how to connect, what are the issues we are facing, everything. Okay, so those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel and the like the video and do please comment on that also. So let's get started. So let's go and check the Postman API, what we have done with the CRUD REST API. Okay, so let's, let's go to the, those who haven't followed my previous video, it's request that you have to follow the previous, otherwise it's very difficult to understand what I have made. Okay, so let's see, we have the for in the API section, here you can see that we have an API. Okay, in the API, we have a customers. In the customers, if I want by ID, all the query parameter routes are there in the this ID in the routes and by default it will go to routes okay so this is that one let me word wrap this okay so let's let's go to the first db config okay config first we have to create the config so config mongoose.js so here we are doing the connection how to connect with the mongoose okay so this is the connection part that the MongoDB connected successfully. If there is something error, it will go to the error connect in the MongoDB. Okay, so this is the connection part. Second step, we have to create the API models. This is models, this is users. So create that one. This is, no, this is we are using the customer's model, right? So make sure the customer model, whatever we require, the name, age, email, you have to make it. Okay, this and then export the customers. Okay, this is models. After that, we have to create the APIs endpoints. So go to the customers routes. Okay, so this is get API. So here first we are connecting the DB. First we are checking that the connection is there or not. Okay, so it will connect the DB. And here we have a get request. So first customers find. So let's go and check the customers find. So here we go with this one. So this is the customers one. We have already tested this one. So get customers. So this is the list of the customers. Okay. Then I want to fetch list go with a post request also. So here we have the name. So I was going to send this one. So this is added. Let's get three records should be fetched. Okay. You can see the last record name DDDD. This is added. Let's make a get request with ID. So let's go with this ID okay send this so it's there let's make a put request with updating this one ID so I'm going to name with the my full name okay let's try to send this it is updated let's go and get this record you can see that it's updated if I just fetch all the records, it's already there. Okay. Now I want to delete this record. Let's add this and just delete this record. Okay. This is deleted. Let's fetch all the records. And if I go and just make a get request over here, it will it would show that the user not found. Okay, because we have already deleted in the get request. If we get all the customers, you can see the record is not there. Okay, only two records are there. Okay, so this is full fledged CRUD operations. Let's go and check this one into the code how I have made this. Okay, so config file I have already cleared on that. This is a connection file. Okay, in the routes we have to import next response, connect DB, and the customer's model. So this is how to fetch the users, customers dot find and return the next response dot JSON. And if something goes wrong, it will go to the error block and returning the response with the status code 500. Then we have a post request. Okay. Await request join, receive data, name, and the email. Customers.create will create your record into your table. And whatever data I have saved, it will return that over here in the next response.json. If something goes wrong, it will go to the catch block and it will return the status message with the error and the status code 500. Okay, this is get and the post request. In the those routes we required the query string, it will go to the ID and the routes. This is the method, whether it's to be a product ID, whether it's to be a slug, 
whatever you can make it it's up to you here i have made the id so i will get this by id only okay so get by id so customers dot find by id so here i'm going to find by id find by record if the if the users find then we will return the data if it is not fine then we will return the message that user not found with the status 404 okay and if some it, it and if something goes wrong it will go to the catch block with the response code status code 500 and the message error okay then we have a delete a record so fine first we will again check that the user exists or not if user not exist then user if, the, if there is no user then user not found if user is there then with the help of delete one we will delete the user okay and return the message that user really successfully with the status code 200 if something goes wrong it will go to the catch block and it will says the message with error and the status 500 okay next we have to put update a record okay so request params params id so first we request the json body json with the name and the email and then again check that the user exists or not if it is not then the user not found if the user found then we will take the json email from the json name and the email and try to save that in with the help of that id okay user to update dot save and return that user user record that we have updated user record if something goes wrong it will go to the catch block with the message error and the status code 500 okay so this is full fledged cloud rest api with the mongodb and mongoose and the next JS. any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day